So apparently, here's the old KitchenAid washing machine. It is going bye-bye now, and here's the old dryer. See, the dryer still works. Still in good condition. See? Oh, oh my God, look but, at that. What is see, that? See, that's a detergent. Ew. It's a detergent, but here's a new one. It's gonna start. There it goes, you hear yeah, it? see, it didn't do It's working. Creepy. So, yeah, and then it, it had a little, little squeaky noise when it started. So it's supposed to sound like this, and like actually wash the clothes. Yeah, this thing, you could see, it's much quieter. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but if you open the door, it will stop, and then it takes three seconds to start on any function. Alright. So it, or it has a soak, only when you have soak. See? Let's see, deep fill was turned off, so I want to see how it was filled. See, look at that. Yep, and it's like, yeah, you just opened up the lid. Look at that. You see? Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. TKE Safety Ambassador. Hey, my grandma got the brand new Speed Queen TC5 and DC5 washer dryer set. The product code is TC5 for this, and the product code is DC5 for this. So as you can see... This is a medium load of clothes being rinsed. The tub is indexing a little bit. Here's the model number, and here's the warnings here. On the older models, there would be like a full instructions of the wash, but it's on the owner's manual, so you don't get all of that here. And, and then this is like the lid lock reservoir, but that's not there. The door switch is underneath there, but it's like, we label this machine with an invisible door switch, but look. Uh -oh. It's not broken. I just moved my hand too much. See what's going on. So here is the dryer. It's a model number. It's very, very spacious, but you know, this thing has like a very heavy like door, so it takes a lot of pressure to open it. And my grandma sometimes needs help with it because she can't just open this on her own. So that's what she said. Certain things are disabled during a cycle, so anything you try to enable that's extra. It will not work. And I also caught the rinse cycle not working because this valve was not turned on by the contractors, but the hot water was. So yeah, I'm gonna show you that video. See, watch this tub break. First of all, I gotta rub off this detergent. This thing is new. Wow. That's what will happen if you try to switch it. It's not going to accept it. See, they were going to offer us a 240 volt dryer, but then that would require a 240 volt plug to be installed with three phases, like an oven outlet plug. But they offered us a 120 volt dryer. With the gas hooked up. So we signed a waiver to get the gas hooked up. Here's a dryer. It's very, very spacious. It's got this very, very bright light. See how bright that light is? That's amazing. The machine is spinning. You cannot open it all the way, so we're going to have to open it like this because, you know, you're not supposed to open it all the way. But yeah. Deep fill, start pause. 
they do have the Canadian version of this, which is made by Hibbs, which is also a machine, a washing machine I filmed in North Carolina, and they had the commercial one, but they do have a TC5. But it's going to start filling. Where's that humming coming from? Why is it not working? That's not supposed to happen. Why are we having a humming noise? Maybe it's normal. So it's supposed to go on to the rinse cycle. Do you have any idea what's that? the heck is humming what is it it's not the motor because the motor would if it was humming it would be way louder than that so what's making that sound all right Let's see. It's filling now. Yes, it is. It's still hot? No, it's cold. Or warm. It might be warm because it's warm in here. This is completely cold water. Okay. See, it is filling with cold water now. It's not even on the cold setting, but all rinses are cold. Now it's going to start agitating. Again. See, there it goes. So there you got to see that that cold water was not working. And my grandma was afraid that it ruined her clothes because the water was set to warm. And warm water is not supposed to steam heavily at all. So it was just very unusual. There is no squeaking sound because usually some squeaky TC5s would make a squeaking noise and that's not the case here. Let's see. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this right here. I'll show you what it does. See that's a tub index. See that? That's where the uh, tub is spinning. It's spinning counterclockwise. But the machine works correctly. See, that's a 200, 210 degree agitation stroke. Let's see, doing a good job getting these clothes rinsed. You know, Speed Queen makes good machines. Thank you, Speed Queen, for giving us a quote and sending this machine to us. We really appreciate the quality of this machine. Let's see, tub index. Notice the little ring thing go by. This is a Raytheon machine, but it's Alliance Laundry Systems LLC, which is owned by Raytheon, so it is a United Technologies company, and we're going to close the lid because it's going to start spinning. But on the owner's manual, it said, do not bypass the lid switch for any functions, whether it is filling, washing, agitating, rinsing, draining, and spinning which is what we're going to see right now. It's going to drain and spin. So I'm not going to risk it and leave the door open for that one. So I did that for demonstration. Don't repeat what I did. See, it's spinning now. The water is draining there. That tub break is just insane. There's a liquid bleach dispenser. It's the tiniest liquid bleach dispenser ever.
gonna let it spin because this thing is gonna be done. Then we're gonna see what the dryer does. It got to its final spin. We're gonna use actual lights in the laundry room this time. Spinning nice and fast. That took almost eight seconds to restart after opening up the door. So the microcontroller behind here has a delay, but unlike the older models, it does not. And this is a brand new Speed Queen TC5 2024 model. And it barely shakes much. Like, look. It does shake, but not that much. Let's see, you can barely see. Let me get a flashlight. Let me, let me take a look in there. See? Spinning nice and fast without having to completely open the door because it is a safety hazard according to this owner manual here. But I did it for the agitation for demonstration only, so don't repeat it. So you see, right there. So we're going to look at page 14. Delicate, where's delicate? Delicate, which one is it? Where agitation level low, delicate, permanent press. We are going to avoid normal eco because it is not recommended. It's the deep fill option is not available for this cycle. Here's hand washer delicate. And then here's bulky, which is also another form of a delicate cycle. And then here's just drain and spin only, which is just basically regular spin. Here's permanent press. So this thing basically has six cycles, but five full cycles, one half cycle or quarter cycle. So yeah. These are all microcontroller, except for the dryer. It doesn't have the beeping. There is this end of cycle signal, which is set to a certain volume. It has extended tumble. She is going to be taking this rack down according to her plans, my grandma's plans. So that rack is going to be taken down, but I'm not the one that's taking it down. She's taking it down because you know she decided to get rid of it so this thing should be done now so we're gonna listen for the end of the cycle signal and see how that sounds so yeah the end of cycle signal should have a beat we are listening for the end of the cycle signal it should be here Let's see This is the start pause button. The same thing with this is if you use this as a touch sensitive button, if you stop it and then restart it after a certain amount of time, it's going to be delayed. It's going to have a delay. So I recommended this model and some repairmen's did too because uh, this has no lid lock and it's like that traditional speed queen. Basically, here's some screw covers to remove the front panel if you have to get access to the motor, which is never what we're going to be doing because this is brand new and it shouldn't be breaking down right now. So There was a cold water issue, but now it was fixed. Nothing's wrong with this machine. There is absolutely nothing wrong with it. But this, this was like, you know, these valves need to be replaced, but we would have to turn off the whole house to get those replaced. So we're just going to keep the old valves. And if this had an LCD screen like the old Speed Queen 8 series they used to sell, but now it's obsolete, although it's just only a 2018 model, so rest in peace. It, was, it stopped production in either 2020 or 2021. So if it had an LCD screen, we would be able to see, like, there's the end of cycle signal. Hear it? I heard that. So now this load is finished. Heavy duty cycle. That was a very short cycle. Let's see. This was in a net, so this was not like exposed out in the machine. So that, that's in a net. And here's a dryer. This thing is this thing is well lit. And there are some warnings there too. 
this is the energy guide which we're going to leave on and then there was some sort of packaging warning which was taken off in the machine so it's not there anymore and this machine has like much shorter down controls and the controls are literally like leaned a little bit leaned a little bit tilted a lot so that's a deep fill option this is bulky there's another set of options. Extra ridge pre-soak heavy soil. Deep fill is also an option. There is temperatures. Cool only mixes barely any of the hot water. So it's like some sort of solenoid that mixes. It has It's probably a variable speed solenoid. So when you set it to cool, it's not going to like have the completely hot water or warm water. But when you set it to tap cold or cold, that's this just sharp raw cold water with no hot water mix basically so that's what happened with the rinse cycle and then we have this little squeaky noise every time you open it but it's okay it's just because these need to be lubricated but it's fine because it's not a big deal but if the lids open like past there it's not going to operate so it can't operate when it's filling, agitating, rinsing, spinning, or any functions. Any and all functions, it will not operate. So if you like, for, you know, hit start immediately, and then it's not gonna even do anything until you shut the door.